the air to fuel ratio uh, looks really good uh, on watt runs and so now I am going to go in and um, modify my boost settings and I want to start boosting at the minimum working my way up to the boost uh, ranges of 2 15 psi optimize my fuel cells and so I want to go click on the boost tab here and right now I'm running a Mac boost valve and right now it's at 0.0% so that's the um, minimum wastegate duty now the, the Mac valve solenoid is closed and so I'm running off of the wastegate spring um, I want to open up the wastegate to 100% running at 100% duty max or 85.2 duty max at um, 4 psi and then I'll go for a watt run and I'll look at the air to fuel ratio and then I'm going to continue up to 7, 10, 12, 14 so I'm going to set the value to 85.2 and file save Calibration and I'm going to do it one I'm looking at air to fuel ratio. And I need to go to the fuel tab because on this boost tab here there is no air to fuel ratio measured. And so when I do my logging, it won't be logged. And so I'm gonna go click on fuel. Run the walk.
Now, are at zero psi? One psi, two thousand five Three thousand two five. Thousand two five. So Not going to get. Four thousand six increase. Up down. Four thousand six six. Thousand six six. So by looking at, at the blue line, the boost curve here, it peaks out at uh, 4,000 RPM and at 6.6, .6, and it holds steady all the way to 7.5, and then that's just where it boost creeps to about 12.6, 30 PSI. And so I want to look at my... Log bolt just to make sure I'm doing okay. Looks good. I am going to increase my boost up to about 10 psi. So set value 85.2. File save.
On this pink and the blue line, blue line, really good. Six, 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 twelve. At four six, how oh, it peaks is up. It peaks at nine psi. So and it boosts up to twelve. Creeps up to thirteen. And at four six nine. Four six. That is running too rich.
salvation. Thousand. 